I'm Barry Moles. I help getting small businesses unstuck. All right, Barry, I'm going to start with you. You get people unstuck. Absolutely. JJ, we have to understand that the biggest problem for most entrepreneurs and why they're not able to move their business forward is because they get stuck. You see, they keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect to get different results. I've had three businesses over the last 20 years. The first business went out of business. The second business, I was kicked out by my two partners about two weeks before my first son was born. And the third business, which I actually started two weeks after my first son was born, fortunately in July of 1999, I was able to sell that business. I was able to pay back the bank the $1.3 million I owed them. And my wife tells me I got her back just about the same time. Who here has read The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by Deepak Chopra? Oh man, Deepak's gonna be pissed. All right, what about The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey? All right, what about The Seven Highs of Effective Habits by Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen? I actually don't believe there are seven steps to success. However, I do believe there are two things that all financially successful people have in common. How many things? Two things, right? The first one is luck, and the second one is timing. Has anybody ever asked you, would you rather be lucky or would you rather be good? How do you answer? I'd rather be lucky, right? Because I'm lucky, it seems like I'm good. Did you ever know someone's kind of stupid and jerky and made a boatload of money? Doesn't that just piss you off? Barry Moltz helps businesses come back from failure and is the author of Bounds. All right, Barry, start with you. First thing for somebody to do when they're down? I think first thing you have to do is you got to grieve. I think you got to have a pity party. I think you got to cheer the darkness. Failure only makes sense when we see it as part of the entire business cycle, even if there always isn't something to learn. In order to be successful in business, you've got to take your last business result, success or failure, let go of it, and just bounce. When you let go of your last result, learn what you can, it gives yourself another chance of success. I keep telling my son that he used to have four years of college saved, but now he's only got two and a half. Okay, so what exactly is your goal? Is it to get your child to qualify for as many student loans as possible? Yeah, the, any way that we can reduce the amount that we have to contribute, that's more money that we can put towards our retirement. You see, they give out loans for college, but they don't give out loans to support retirement. And I believe the way you develop true business confidence is actually by letting go of both failure and success and just taking another action or bouncing that can get you closer to your next great success. This is a sign that everybody should be hanging in their office. It's cash flow stupid. In most people's businesses, they're either really, really busy or really, really slow. Then they're really, really busy and really slow, and they only do sales and marketing when they're not busy. And when they finally get some more work, they stop doing sales and marketing. I call this the double helix trap, and it keeps their business just flat for years to come. If you don't market, people won't be able to find out about you. Your sales pipeline will dry up. Cell phones, email, social media makes it like you can reach out and almost touch someone. Users these days pretty much want to access their data, as Chris Brogan would say, anywhere and any when. Businesses are not really about ideas, right? They're about the execution of those ideas. The entrepreneurs that are successful, the ones that get out of their office, stop writing the business plan, and go out and they really take action. Customer service has totally changed in this economy. It has become the new marketing. Okay, guys, for the win, the question is, what is the most common type of web video small businesses use to promote their business? Is it executive inter... <laughs> and the answer is... I would say product demonstration. <laughs> Barry Moltz, you are the proud winner of the Your well Business done. Biz Quiz. Thank you so much for joining us. The number one rule of marketing, which is we actually can't sell anything to anyone. We only need to be there when people are ready to buy. I'm working with small business owners to get them unstuck, to make sure that they get to the entrepreneurial dream and get them unstuck in sales with their employees, with their partners, with their customer service. What we need to do is have a systematic way to do marketing and create relationships with people every single week, offering them something of value 
So when they have the pain and they're going to solve the pain, they'll contact us and it'll be a step.